Jeff Ware, bikereview.com.au and today we're out in sunny Patonga, New South Wales on the central coast, it's autumn, I know you can't believe it and we've got something special here today which is a Yamaha RD400 which belongs to Darren Evans here, it's fully restored um, you all know I'm a two-stroke fan, absolute fanatic and I've had RDs and RZs my whole life I've got an RG500 as you know, RS250, he's even got an RM80 um, so you can imagine I'm kind of in heaven here perving on this thing today in the sunshine we've been taking some photos of uh, Darren's bike um, which he recently purchased, fully restored Darren, how long have you been into RDs and how long have you been riding? RDs I think is when we were younger back in the old days, mopeds and a step up to the RD and I think it's reminiscent of old times getting the RD Yep. Uh, the smell of two-stroke, Castor R yep. two-stroke, that's what done it for me so you grew up in the UK I'm guessing? in the UK, yep uh, we were restricted to we were 17 before we could ride anything bigger and yeah. uh, this is what we always looked up to getting uh, as a step up from the moped days and did you have one over there? I never had one over there, no, moved on to a car before I actually got to the bike and it's something I feel I missed out on so yep. I don't know, as you get older, you think you want to relive your youth. So this, well, is, this is the way I'm doing it. I don't think anyone that rides a two-stroke ever really grows up. No. Nope. And how do you feel when you ride it? Uh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Smile in your face, yeah. flies in the tooth, that's it. I mean, it, it's, it's a great bike to ride. Does it really make, make you feel young again? Oh, God, yeah. I know mine yeah, do. Yeah. When you fire them up and you're warming them up and they're bang, dang, 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 and you can smell that smoke and it's just so awesome, isn't it? But tell us about the bike. Uh, well, I actually got this from the UK, uh, from Ducati Wolverhampton, the workshop manager there. Um, I purchased it from him, he's completely been restored. Uh, it's a very clean example, yeah. which is what I was looking for. Looks beautiful. Uh, but it wasn't a case of just being a showroom bike, I actually wanted to ride it. So yep. that's the thing, I will get out and ride it. Uh, obviously it's the 400, the, yep. the more sought after model. Yep. And that's what I wanted to go for and uh, I'm very happy with it few few uh, minor problems when yep. I first got it yeah uh, just after being restored but we got through those and now we're all good she's fairly reliable I mean just looking at it you can tell the engines been that the cases have been completely redone everything looks brand new um, it's unbelievable everything's re-chromed um, the wheels are done like the paintworks Mickey Mouse the decals the seat it's just unbelievable I noticed it's got kilometers too it, um, which is good. Yeah, I have. It did come with the miles per hour speedo, yep. but I managed to pick this up cheap in the UK because they don't yep. use kilometres yep. and got that fitted. So bargain. But yeah. like, like you said, the 400. I mean, they're hard to get here in Australia, and they were a super popular bike um, because they had that torque that was needed in Australia. And Australian riders do longer distances, and there were quite a few around. But the, where are they? Uh, I think a lot of them got written off by the uh, the keen people. Yeah, a little bit too eager into the corners, and that was it. They were and, gone. And I guess it was only a, a, what a year or two, two years later that the LC came out, and um, a lot of people probably went for that. The dealers might have stopped bringing the four hundred. At the time, in. it was the LC, but yeah. I think now people are going back to the the, the original 400. ones. Yeah. yeah, and realizing what a talky, amazing, you know, uh, fantastic a bike they are. Very distinctive note with the exhaust. Yeah, really good note. Yeah. They do everything. Uh, it's an absolutely beautiful bike. Thanks for uh, letting us That's have a look at it today, no mate. No worries, mate. Why do you see this thing in action next, and why do you hear it?
Well guys, just about to um, live one of the many dreams and that's to ride an RD400. I've never ridden one. I had a 250 when I was young that I never got restored. That was in my school days. I used to sit on the shed in it and go on it and go rum 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 when I was like about 11 or 12 years old. And then I got another one when I was in my early 20s and I didn't restore that either and I had to sell that. Um, and then I was offered a 400 which I had never got hold of in the end anyway. So. It didn't really happen, but I'm really excited to ride this thing today. Um, thanks to Darren, and let's see how she goes. Where's the starter button, mate? <laughs> oh shit, hang on. Well, that was absolutely cool. That was unreal. I went up the road and back a few times. First thing that got me is just how good the brakes are for old brakes. Um, it's got HGL brake lines, or oh, Goodrich brake lines on it. But anyway, they're just old brakes. Uh, and you know, if you squeeze them together, this thing really stops because they're so light. Um, you know, really nimble, comfortable, really broad spread of power for, for what it is. And it's still got that hit at 6,000 RPM, so put a smile on my face. But of course, like any good two-stroke, the best thing is turning around and smelling your own smoke. And then turning around and smelling your own smoke again. Anyway, it was awesome. Thanks a lot. Thanks.